Hello gardeners. In this video, I will tell you about the remedy for fungal diseases on cucumbers. With which I saved my cucumbers. This tool is cheap and available to everyone. I even think that many of you now have it at home in the medicine cabinet. If you have been subscribed to my channel for a long time, then I think you remember this video, where I showed my cucumber plants, my harvest. How well they grew, but I needed to urgently leave for work, I did not visit my greenhouse for several days, since I have it automated. The windows themselves open, and the greenhouse is ventilated. Scheduled watering starts on its own. If it's interesting, I can make a video about my homemade greenhouse. Then here are my cucumber plants due to differences in night and day temperatures, when it is hot during the day and cool at night. And at this point, a large amount of condensate is formed. The plants were infected with downy mildew. No one is safe from it. The main thing is to detect it in time and take action quickly. This disease looks like this. On the leaves of cucumbers, this is noticeable immediately. First light yellowing appears in the form of spots, and then if you do not take any measures for treatment, then the downy mildew fungus begins to spread along the leaf, and as you can see, it settles on the lower part of the leaf, and if you do not keep track, then the leaves are completely turn yellow. The cucumber plant will begin to weaken. Since such a leaf cannot carry out photosynthesis, which means it will not be able to absorb food from the soil. Therefore, the crop, as well as the leaves, will turn yellow and fall off. And as you can see, I carried out this treatment and will show the result now, I have not cut the lower leaves yet, but as you can see, there is no fungus on the upper leaves. Cucumbers continue to grow normally absolutely healthy. And I continue to harvest from them. But this disease manifests itself at special moments. Firstly, if high humidity is created in the greenhouse. Also from temperature changes, when it is very hot during the day and cool at night. Again, condensation appears and collects in the form of moisture on the leaves. Bacteria thrive in these conditions. And in open ground it is even easier for cucumber plants to become infected with this disease. If heavy rains pour, then immediately for several days, cucumbers begin to get sick with this disease. As you can see from this video, I defeated the disease. At the bottom of the leaf there are now absolutely no spores, and no signs of this fungus. And I used the usual hydrogen peroxide from the first aid kit, at a concentration of 3%. It is cheap and also, most likely you have it available at home. And since my cucumbers were already sick, I decided to conduct an experiment on them. I treated several bushes with pure hydrogen peroxide, used this spray, and treated the rest of the bushes with hydrogen peroxide diluted in proportions of 1 to 3. Respectively, for 100 milliliters of peroxide, added 300 milliliters of pure water. As a result, both treatments showed excellent results. All my cucumber plants recovered. The fungus was completely destroyed. And most importantly, on those plants where I sprayed with pure peroxide, the leaf was not damaged, only the fungus was destroyed. But when using this tool, you need to remember a few nuances. First, the downy mildew fungus lives only on the underside of the leaf. Accordingly, you need to carefully spray from the underside, and if you process on top of the sheet, then this remedy will not help. The second rule is to stick to the dosage that I called. Since if the peroxide is strongly diluted, then there will be no sense. The fungus will not die and will continue to grow on your cucumbers and destroy your plants. As you can see, my cucumbers grow normally, they do not get sick. And the lower leaves that have suffered from the disease will not recover, so I gradually remove them. I cut two leaves every day, thereby preventing further spread of fungal spores in the greenhouse that might have survived. Use this wisely and you'll be fine. And I wish you a good day and great harvests. See you in new videos.